Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. I'm your host, Richard, and today we're thrilled to have a very special guest with us, Will Wiseman, the CEO and co-founder of Climatize. Uh, he's joining us to share his insights on electric vehicles and renewable energy. Well, uh, to start off, Will, I'm curious about your personal journey with electric vehicles. Have you or someone close to you owned an EV? And uh, what has that experience been like? Hey, Richard, thanks for having me on the show. Pleasure to be here and, and having this conversation with you today. So yeah, uh, my father is a total EV walk. So he, over the past two and a half years, has been restoring an old Selectria, which is you know some of the very first EVs ever produced. And then from that, he really got the bug and has been converting an old 65 MG midget over to an EV as well. And so that thing is going to have a lot of pickup and torque once he he gets it finished up and is in the process of welding a whole custom frame to be able to really now support the new, you know, uh, EV drivetrain and batteries. And after that, you know, we've set the sights on my old 1965 Mustang as a conversion that's really uh, kind of one that's on the horizon and really looking forward to to making that thing EV as well. So it's, it's very much in our family and, and something we love to tinker on. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And then even through Climatize, we're looking at, at funding an EV charging station here coming up soon. So uh, lots on the horizon. So looking forward to bringing that all to this conversation. Very cool. Well, moving on to Climatize, could you set, shed some light on what your company does and uh, the driving force behind its inception? Sure. Yeah. So Climatize is an investment portal that enables you to invest directly in clean energy projects uh, in your communities across the country. And so through Climatize, you can start investing in solar projects, EV charging stations. We're looking at energy efficiency of projects as well. Uh, all with as little as $5 and really excited about helping really expand access to this asset class. And really the kind of aha moment and inspiration from Climatize came from myself and my co-founder joined the global climate strikes in 2019 while we were completing the first of our, our master's degrees in energy engineering. And we saw over 100,000 people in Barcelona protesting for climate action. And we're really struck by this incredible turnout of hope and motivation. And yet in that moment, I had this kind of sad realization that we were all going to go home and nothing was going to be different the next day. And I just thought, wow, you know, if you get 100,000 people together and their best option is what? To make a cardboard sign? Like that's a glaring problem. There has to be a better way. And so through that, we went through all the work of getting uh, registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission, as well as our financial industry regulatory authority membership to be able to launch this funding portal that allows us to raise capital for these clean energy projects across the country. Okay. Well, I'm intrigued to learn more about one of the projects Climatize has facilitated funding for. Uh, could you share a specific example? and explain why the project developer opted for your platform over traditional banking avenues. Sure. Yeah. So starting out, I mean, with the bank in question, one of the challenges is that these small distributed energy resources, oftentimes those below $5 million, really struggle to attract debt financing from the traditional avenues, given the kind of manual underwriting processes to those institutions. Just the time and transaction cost to them make it prohibitive to come in and invest in these projects. And so we've found a real kind of bottoms up way of funding these projects. And then uh, to your point, I would say maybe pointing at the first project that we funded, it was a community solar project in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. And so with that, the investors could come in and they could get an 8% fixed interest term for a five-year note, 2% paid quarterly, and a senior secured position on that project. And you could think of it like essentially investing in commercial real estate, where you have contracted cash flows, and then additionally with collateral of the actual energy project. And just like that, it's you know, a very interesting security that can help provide kind of diversification to your portfolio, um, you know, very interesting characteristics. Uh, on, it's non-correlated to the rest of the of the market. And then you're generating that revenue through the sale of the power that's coming from the sun coming up every day. So, you know, very uh, interesting kind of characteristics as a financial product, as well as, you know, you get that climate impact, local jobs and energy security as well. So 
In the context of solar projects, uh, could you break down the concept of the capital stack for us? Also, how does the Inflation Reduction Act uh, fit into this framework? Yeah, so the Inflation Reduction Act has been a huge catalyst to, you know, moving more capital into the space. Essentially, when you look at a solar project, you're really looking at 30% uh, as a tax credit that's coming from the federal government. Now the Inflation Reduction Act has given 10 years of certainty on those incentives. Then you generally have 60% of the capital stack is debt and 10% is the project developer's equity. What we had found is that many of these project developers, because they had been unable to raise that debt financing from the banks, had 70% of that capital stack was their own equity. And so we were able to come in and essentially uh, enable them to raise that debt financing through this um, portal, through now your opportunity to invest in these projects, and that allowed them to go and reinvest into the development of, of new projects. And with the Inflation Reduction Act, now, you know, you can get, traditionally, it's been 30% of that capital stack is the, the tax credits. Now you can get up to 70% based on stacking some of these additional credits. And that's really great because it makes these projects that much more profitable. And, you know, they have that added layer of security. If, you know, you're going to be getting, call it 70% of your project repaid through tax credits. So, you know, lots of new incentives that are really exciting and making this space, you know, that much more attractive for investment. You know, uh, many of our viewers are solar panel enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. uh, from your perspective, what are the advantages of investing in solar energy through a platform like Climatize? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, uh, for one, what you're investing in then has a 20 year lifespan or 25 year lifespan, those panels in terms of uh, then a warranty that guarantees their output by 80 percent as well. So that's really attractive because unlike, say, commercial real estate, you wouldn't have that guarantee. But with solar, you actually have that warranty from the manufacturer. Then additionally, just like a real estate investment, it can pay for itself. The cash flows of the sale of that power can pay for the whole system. And then from there, it's profit for the remaining life cycle of that asset. It's low maintenance. There's few moving parts to go wrong. You know, you have those contracted cash flows that are really a non-correlated asset class. We've seen that energy prices just have continually increased, uh, making this a really good way to hedge against that continual increase. And then additionally, this is counter cyclical. So, you know, while the cost of credit is really high right now, you know, now is a good time to then get in and lock in those returns where you can kind of play the bank in this current market condition. Investments in platforms such as Climatize are often seen as uncorrelated with the general equity or stock market's performance. Uh, could you elaborate on why that is? Yeah. So, you know, you, you bring up a really great point in that, you know, a lot of in the early 2000s, uh, some investors did get burned by solar energy companies. And now in contrast, you know, what you're really investing in with this asset class is actually the asset that produces the power and the sale of the electricity. So in contrast with Climatize, you're not investing in a company and its founders and that management team. You're really focusing on investing in the actual energy sales from those projects. And now kind of irrespective of what happens in the market, the sun's going to continue to shine on those panels. And from that, you know, really what we're financing will continue to produce energy regardless of those market con um, you know, conditions. So you're looking at contracted cash flows as the power prices are increasing every year. You know, it's creating a strong incentive for the community and the businesses um, to lock in their power prices through a power purchase agreement with that solar project. And that's what really provides those contracted cash flows and repays the investors. And then even in the event that, you know, say that off taker um, ends up filing for bankruptcy, you still have the collateral of the project because this is really an asset backed security. And so, you know, with having that first lien position uh, as a project owner, you know, in the event of a default, you would become the project owner. And so, you know, that provides a very good backstop for your investment. And so these are really not tied to other prices like stocks or bonds in the market currently. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Uh, point of interest for our audience is the fee structure of climate mm -hmm. uh, Is it true that there are no investor fees? And if so, how does climatize sustain its business model? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are no investor fees. If you invest $1,000, you are earning on 100% of your $1,000. The fees are passed on to the project developers, and those go into the soft costs of financing their projects. So when they look at, okay, we're taking out this debt against uh, an operating solar project and now reinvesting it into our pipeline of new projects that would eat at the profits of the follow on projects. And that's how, you know, we're able to essentially enable a waterfall of project development that might not otherwise exist without this debt financing and that they factor into the next projects that they're going to be building. And we think it's really important that as an investor, you know, if you want to come and deploy your hard earned money to this asset class in this sector that, you know, you really get the benefit of the yield there. Great. Well, uh, lastly, for our viewers considering investment options, uh, why should they opt for climatize over direct investments in Tesla stock or uh, other solar energy companies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this really has kind of a nice diversification where, you know, you can kind of get a fixed interest return and that, you know, you're expected to get those steady cash flows essentially every quarter, depending upon how those notes are structured. And so with that, it can provide, you know, a new kind of passive income stream to help support your portfolio. And additionally, because, you know, this asset class, it operates very similar to commercial real estate, but given the kind of nascency of the solar industry, Industry in contrast to real estate that's been around forever, you can get kind of a nice little premium on the yield given just the lack of, you know, kind of normalization of this industry that exists in commercial real estate. Um, you know, one of the most important things is that, you know, just the due diligence that's on these projects. We have a very thorough and robust project and we turn away developers that we think, you know, bring too much risk to the platform because it's very important that, you know, our customers have, you know, high quality investment opportunities. And so, you know, through that, we've only been funding project developers that have been operating for five plus years. And, you know, some of them have done over 300 projects in 30 states. So we really look for that successful track record. And then additionally, we brought in a VP of project finance who's done $155 million of specifically community solar finance. And so, you know, as you come to consider a investment on our platform, you know, think, hey, this is a great way to diversify, potentially align my investments with my, you know, impact desires. And then additionally, you know, I can look at it from a non-correlated asset perspective that can give me a passive income stream. So, you know, you can play the bank uh, while the conditions are good and, you know, lock in those nice returns. That's good. Um, anything else that you'd like to share with our uh, viewers today? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So, you know, if you're interested in making an investment on Climatize, I would encourage you to find us in the iOS app store. And we're going to be rolling out both Android and a web platform here in the coming quarters. So, um, you know, we've heard the customer demand for those and, and we'll be rolling those out shortly. And uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can check us out at www.climatize.earth. And we'll have a special landing page for Tesla tomorrow listeners to come in and, and see the opportunities on our platform. So, encourage you to reach out and um, whether you're seeking capital or looking to invest in solar projects, reach out to us at Climatize. All right. Great. Well, it's been great having you with us today, Will. Uh, your insights into Climatize and the industry at large have been very informative. Thank you for taking the time to share your perspective with us and our audience. Thanks a lot, Richard. Pleasure to be here. You're welcome. Now, if you want to know more about climatize.earth slash Tesla TMRW. You can find a link to their website in the description below. And until next time, I'm Richard signing off. Take care and see you in the next episode.